Hey everyone, welcome to the mid-monthly love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Virgo, I'm pulling a card for you and your energy. One for the other person, potential or future connection, current, and then the dynamic between the both of you. And you may resonate with the other card for the other person. Energies could be vice versa, so just keep that in mind. What energy do we have currently for Virgo, please? Okay, interesting. Three cards, the Seven of Swords, the Sun, and the Lovers. How about the other person, please, for Virgo? The other person. Wow, okay, and what is the dynamic between the both of you? The dynamic or current energy? <laughs> All right. Okay, Virgo. So for your energy, we have the Seven of Swords, the Sun, and the Lovers. So the Seven of Swords could definitely represent going at something alone. Um, it represents being strategic and planning. So you may be planning something behind the scenes this other person doesn't know about. With the sun energy, it could be something that you are soon to reveal. The sun does represent revelations. The sun also comes after the moon. So the sun is illuminating. It's that period of happiness and relief after a period of darkness. So the seven of swords could represent that period of darkness, deceit, going at it alone, a solitary energy, um, you know, or it could represent you doing something behind the scenes and being very strategic in planning here. Something you may soon to reveal. The sun is Leo energy. Now we have the lovers Gemini energy. So with the lovers card, this can represent a connection that's soon to come together. Um, the lovers represents choices and decisions. So you could have even made a choice or decision regarding a matter about this person or a situation in your life without the other person knowing, without sharing it. So it's more of a solitary energy, but we do have this unity in coming together here. So very interesting dynamic there. And for the other person, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. So Ace of Pentacles, this could represent them going through a period of really putting some work in, in their life, maybe in their finances or some area of their life. But this is going to be something that is going to be solid in this relationship. With this Ace of Pentacles, this is a new opportunity being built from a solid foundation. And this person really wants to put the work in with the Page of Wands. Page is a younger energy that's filled with vitality, passion, really, really wanting to move forward. Someone who's very excited about this situation. Now, the dynamic currently, we have the Tower, the Two of Wands, and Temperance. So the Tower is about a breakthrough or a breakdown or a clearing of blockages. So if there's something that is blocking you from somebody, those blockages are soon to be cleared. This situation could be going through a really deep transformation. This could even represent you or the other person going through that. And I feel like it's definitely on your side of the coin here with this kind of energy. So really working through some, some of the shadow aspects and really moving towards some kind of union here, a love connection, even if it's a union within yourself. So breakthroughs, deep transformation. Look at this two of wands energy. So this is something that's happening right now. Maybe currently that you're planning or someone else is planning here, planning for the future, right? Maybe just doing it secretly or strategically, maybe not wanting to involve someone else in any kind of drama. Um, but with Two of Wands, this is moving forward and it's in the planning process here. So soon to definitely have some kind of action come within. Um, temperance, finding balance, stability, solutions even with the Temperance card. Solutions are on the horizon. So let's clarify. Take a look at the lovers card let's take a look at the lovers what is happening with this energy please for virgo with the lovers the lovers definitely could be a choice or decision for you so I, but i do feel like you're dealing with matters alone 
maybe even finding yourself through this situation. Let's look at the lovers, please. Okay, yeah, we have the five of cups. So you could be feeling sad about a situation, not being quite honest about it. Um, remorse, right? Worry. Looking at the three cups that have been spilt versus what you have. So you could be going through a challenging situation right now, emotionally involving a connection or a loss that you dealt with. But Seven of Swords tells me this is, this is something you're dealing with by yourself. Not really sharing too much about. Let's look at the Ace of Pentacles for the other person. This other person here, potential, current, future, showing a solid energy. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> Nine of Cups, wishes being granted. So someone here is focused on manifesting these things into their life, manifesting you currently, even if, you know, you haven't quite met this person yet. But someone here is focusing on themselves, getting themselves settled, um, working on their hopes and dreams. So with this energy, Virgo, even if you're going through a challenging period and a deep transformation in your life, you know, you're going to still manifest this in when you're ready and when the time is right for you. Let's look at the tower. Clarify that tower energy. This is a situation where you're ending something, um, <clears throat> a relationship. Yep, we have justice and we have the page of pentacles. So justice is that this situation is panning out accordingly the way that it needs to. It could have been very karmic when it happened when the justice card comes out. It happens to be a very karmic situation that you may have dealt with. So a karmic relationship, something that you had to learn from. Justice is the sign of Libra, but this could represent the choice that you made, right? To change and transform the situation. And then we have the page of pentacles. So this represents an opportunity for something new. But something that needs to put work into. So you may be serious putting work into even yourself here. All right, let's pull two guidance cards. One from Whispers of Love. What does Virgo need to hear, please? Spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. See, Virgo, so if you're in an energy of like escapism um, and, you know, not quite sharing your feelings or not spending time with the other person, this definitely needs to happen. If you are in a significant relationship with somebody or there is a connection because with that seven of swords, it's telling me that it is more of a solitary energy. Um, you know, you may be feeling hurt about something and you need to share it with the other person and communicate it, but definitely spending quality time together. And let's take a look. What else for Virgo, please? All right, we have two cards here. So we have separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. Okay, so for some of you, this is definitely a separation, maybe even a divorce or something like that with the tower energy, with the seven of swords. But there's a breakthrough here. And then we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So a couple different energies. Some of you going through that separation period. Maybe some of you just separating yourself from others. Working on yourself. Okay, so for some of you, the other person, you may be separated from physically, but you're not energetically. Um, but here, with this energy of temperance, patience, the sign of Sagittarius, there's also solutions on the horizon. So someone here may really be working on themselves, going through this deep transformation but you're soon to come together, right? With a temperance card, it's a unity. It's unions, reunions. So whatever this is, this is worth waiting for for some of you. For others of you, yeah, this deep separation here. 
And for those that have someone spending that quality time, communicating your wants, your needs, what you value, putting that energy out there. I hope you guys have an amazing month ahead, Virgo. If you'd like to book a private reading, follow me on Facebook or Instagram. That information is posted in the description box. You can find it there. Take care.